Hey YouTube, Mary Mayhem here. Going to be kind of an update as to what's going on. We are getting ready for gardening. Uh, getting ready to do some planting. Um, but I'm going to try some stuff in some containers uh, this time because I had some problems with it last year, mainly from uh, pests getting into some of the stuff. So all of my garlic is going to be in containers. So I'm just going to have to keep an eye on it as far as water and keep it from drying out. But I went ahead and got the uh, uh, soft neck garlic in. I went ahead and uh, we're planting ginger this year as well because we use a lot of it and uh, so I bought some from the uh, grocery store which was three dollars for a piece about as big as my hand cut it up and planted it. Gonna see how that does. First time I've ever done that and now we are getting ready to plant some elephant garlic. It's right here. Been soaking it for a couple of hours and you can see it separating. These things are huge, very mild garlic, and there are only five cloves in this bulb. How about that? That's huge. It's as big as a baseball, so we should have some really, really nice garlic coming out of this. More to come. Okay, guys, garlic is about the easiest thing you can plant. Um, it is a slow grower. takes a while. That is one clove. How about that? And we're going to plant every one of them. Each one is going to have its own pot, so it is an investment. But you plant five of these, you are good for the year. And then you just keep planting the next ones on and on and on. I'm going to plant it, pointy tip up. You can see where the roots are starting to come out already, right there. Roots down, of course. And I'm going to plant it about an inch down, and then I'm going to pour a little bit more of a topsoil, a potting mix, across the top of it. So, got to have my hands for this, guys. More so, there we go. And I have even labeled everything, because I'm going to do a lot of these things. A lot of my herbs did great last year. Uh, a lot of them did not. Um, so, uh, we're in the process. We're getting a greenhouse actually dedicated to... Uh, uh, plants because we have one but we turned it into a doghouse so we're going to put a got an actual greenhouse we're going to put over here I was just eyeballing thinking how about that damn apple tree I, I got to cut it before it starts blooming anymore and I heard it uh, stupid tree I was going to cut it down it's still in the process of burning crap uh, cutting and burning man but garlic ginger we're going to do a buttload of deal this is my asparagus bed, and you can see the asparagus right there, that guy starting to come up and come in. How about that? Can't freaking beat it. And uh, ultimately what I'm going to do is I'm going to fence this corner to corner here, fill this in with good topsoil, and uh, this is going to be uh, our bulb bed, stuff like this, close-up stuff and I'll have it fenced to keep any of the animals and everything out and it's close enough thinking like for the carrots and all that stuff that we can keep an eye on it all the time because uh, like the possums and the raccoons they ate all the onions and the carrots I had a few but they ate everything else and all the garlic um, so having them up close we'll have uh, cats and dogs on either side so I think this will work this time that's it for me. Uh, thanks for watching. I'm going to get ready and do some more planting. What we're trying to do is uh, uh, the vegetables, uh, fruits, herbs that we use a lot of that we buy. This year we're going to try to plant enough, produce enough to go all the way through the year. That includes potatoes, onions, um, carrots, asparagus. Uh, this is the fourth year for the asparagus bed so we can harvest as we need um, and I'm probably going to expand it on another patch of ground out here uh, I do have some uh, uh, scallions in the corner and they're growing and doing well I'm gonna get some wild onions and put them in a container and have them also so it's kind of a process thanks for watching I appreciate it guys and uh, y'all gonna make some mayhem